Welcome back, everybody, to Pie Day. Yeah, it's Pie Day. <laughs> he is the king of pies over here. And we have a load of pies in a playlist. I'll link it down below if you want to go check out other pies that we have made. They're so delicious. Yes, they are. All right, today is about buttermilk pie, one of Thomas's favorites. Now, if you don't know Thomas, he's my husband. And generally, he's on the other side of the camera, but today he's on this side, because y'all like to see him. And this is his favorite pie. So he wants first dibs at it when, it, there, right? when it's ready to eat. Okay, guys, you just need your favorite nine inch deep pie plate, some pie dough, and just a few ingredients from your pantry and your refrigerator. Let's put this one together. Yep, let's go. The simple ingredients all-purpose flour, white granulated sugar. Pie crust. Now this is refrigerated pie crust. Salted butter. Pure vanilla extract. Buttermilk. Lots of flavor. Three eggs. And some salt. All right, first thing we're gonna do is start preparing our pie crust. You're gonna wanna preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Now we're taking a sheet pan and we've lined it with some foil. Now, then we're gonna place our baking pan on there. That way, if we have a mess, if it overflows, then it'll land on your foil and you can easy clean up. It doesn't land in the bottom of your oven. You catch fire. You catch fire. <laughs> You're going to need a large bowl. We're going to prep our dough. We're going to take it out of the package. Okay, the package looks like this here, and it has two crusts in it. We're only going to be using one today. Now. So we have another one that you can make another pie with? Yeah. Like maybe a pecan pie? Yeah, if y'all want to see a pecan pie, let us know. Um, last year we did a chocolate pecan pie. Oh yeah, that was really good. Do that again. It was so good. Oh my gosh. You want to take your pie crust out of the refrigerator about 10 to 15 minutes before you start unrolling it to put into your pie plate. That way it's really easy to unroll. All right, so as Thomas is rolling out the pie crust very carefully, I just want to let y'all know we are not greasing the pie plate. There is plenty of shortening in the pie crust. And then what you want to do is just fit it down into the bottom of your dish and make it as even as you can. To keep your pie dough from shrinking on you as it's cooking in the oven, take a fork you want to stab your pie crust, poke it with your fork all over the pie crust. I'm going Oops. to place the dough and just overlap it on our dish here. And so it'll look nice and pretty. And then take your fork again, poke the holes all over the sides. This will prevent your pie crust from bubbling up and pushing it down the sides of your dish. Now, once that's done, we're going to set this aside and you're going to bring over a large bowl. In a large bowl, we're going to place two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. And then we're going to add one and a quarter cups of white granulated sugar. Now we're using a quarter cup, so we're just gonna measure out five of those. And then we're going to add a quarter teaspoon of salt. We're gonna whisk this all together. This will help sift the flour too. And then we're gonna start adding in the wet ingredients. Now that we have this all whisked together, we're going to add one egg at a time. So I'm just gonna crack it into a bowl, put it in, and then Thomas is gonna mix that all together. 
poke the yolk first. And then our last egg. We're going to take one stick of butter. We're going to melt it. Now this is half a cup and then we're going to add that. We're going to add one teaspoon of vanilla. If you don't have buttermilk, you can use regular milk and what you do is you can put one tablespoon of lemon juice or one tablespoon of vinegar, put it into the bottom of a one cup measuring cup, pour milk until you get to that one cup line, let it sit for about five minutes after you've mixed it together with a fork and you've got buttermilk. So one cup of buttermilk going in. We're going to stir that up. We're going to bring our pie shell back over. Now we have it already on the baking sheet that's been lined with the foil. So we're going to pour all of the mixture into our pie dough here. We're going to place this in the oven at 350 degrees for 45 minutes to 50 minutes. What you're going to do is you're going to jiggle your pie just a little bit while it's in the oven at the end of the time frame. If the top of it is nice and set, then we can pull it out. If it's kind of jiggly, then I would leave it in for a few more minutes. Okay, so about 15 minutes before your pie is done, because the crust might cook faster and brown faster, what you want to do is take some foil and just kind of roll it up, place it on top of the edges of your pie crust, or if you have a pie ring, you can place that on top of it too. That way your crust won't get over browned. It'll be nice and golden. Okay guys, I'll be back. I'm gonna show you the next step. Okay, my pie cooked for about one hour and I put the ring around the edges of the pie crust about 20 minutes before it came out of the oven so that it wouldn't get any more brown. You need to let this pie sit on a cooling rack for two hours. That will allow the custard and everything to pull itself together, solidify. Now if you want to go ahead and sprinkle some nutmeg on your pie, you can do that and I would do that at this time. Okay, we've let the buttermilk pie sit for two hours after we pulled it out of the oven. Look at that, it's nice and set. We're gonna cut a piece out of here. Look at that piece. Look at that custard. Mmm, it smells delicious. You ready for a bite? Oh, no, you know it. All right, we're gonna get two forks. Here's our piece of pie. <laughs> Here's my piece of pie. Do y'all notice some pieces missing? We've already had some greedy fingers out here. Mmm. <laughs> oh my gosh. Mmm. <laughs> I just dropped my fork for that one. Mmm. That is so delicious. Mm -hmm. Check out this. Mm -hmm. Look at that custard. When you let it set for two hours, mm. it's perfect. What do you think? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm like thinking. <laughs> you didn't really want this piece. I guess I didn't want a piece. <laughs> well, I'll give you what's left. <laughs> All right, look at that. <laughs> All right, y'all, comment down below what you think. What do you think? I think it's freaking good. Everything you thought it would be? Mm-hmm. It took me a long time to make a buttermilk pie for him. Kept teasing me. Yeah, he's been asking one for a while, and I'm like, okay, okay. And then finally, here we are. So I hope y'all enjoyed this recipe. Mm. And comment down below. Give us a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification. That way you'll always know when our shows are posted. We will see you on the next episode. Bye.
We're going to need another dessert coming soon. Mm-hmm.